boys and girls. Let's have some fun and draw together. Maybe even your parents would like to join us today. Anyone in your family is really welcome. Today we will be drawing a hippopotamus and it is recommended for kinder. Today all you will need is a piece of paper and a pencil and an eraser to do our drawing today. After you're done with our drawing, you might want to color it in with colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you have at home is fine. Let's start with our shapes. I'm going to use a marker so you can see better. Remember to hold on to your paper with one hand, draw with the other hand. The first shape is a circle. Anywhere on your paper, you can use a scrap piece of paper also. Next shape is a dot. It's a circle, but we color it all the way in, so we call it a dot. The next, do you remember the name of this line? Very good, boys and girls. Horizontal. Can we all say that together? Horizontal line. Next line, you remember that one? Vertical. Very good. Vertical line. Very good. We have one more line. Remember the name of that one? Diagonal. Very good, boys and girls. Let's say it together. Diagonal line. Okay. Then we have our half circles. A U. An upside down U. Looks like a rainbow. A C and a backward C. All of these are half circles. So if we put them together, it would make a full circle. Then we have our angled lines, which are our V's. A regular V an upside down V, which looks like an A without the crossbar, a sideways V, and another sideways V. Very good. Then we have a slightly curved line. Remember, it is not as, as curved as our upside down U or rainbow. It's not as straight as our straight line. That's why we call it a slightly curved line. Then we have our lazy S. Our lazy S laying down, or horizontally, we call a hill and a valley. And then we've been doing spirals lately, which is just fun. So remember, you start in the middle. Looks like you're going to do a circle, but you go past that point and just keep going around. And remember, they make wonderful snails. That's why they're fun. All right, so those are our shapes. Remember, we're going to do them before every project because it just makes it easier for us to draw. So boys and girls, it's up to you which way you want your paper. I'm gonna do mine horizontally or the long way. So I have room for my nice big hippopotamus. So let's remember our good habits. Hold on to your paper with one hand and draw with the other. We're gonna start boys and girls with his two little eyes, which are just dots. So right over here, I'm gonna make one dot I'm going to put two fingers down. Actually, I think one finger down is enough. And then make the other dot. Okay? So we have two dots to start, boys and girls. Now we're going to make a straight line. Make sure this straight line is just as long as our eyes. Okay? Then we need to put some cute ears on it. We're going to do an upside down U here. Not very big. As big as these animals are, they have actually very small ears. On this side, we're going to do another upside down U, very small. I'm going to touch this and I'm make a little comma right there. I'm going to go back to the front of my hippo and I'm going to make a line, a vertical line, just below my eye. Do you see it's not very long? It's really just below my eye, boys and girls. Here's my eye and there's my line. Now we need to make his nose. His nose is just a nice long horizontal line, right? So you decide, decide how long his nose is going to be. When you think it's long enough, you stop. And then we're going to put a vertical line right there. About that with his good boys and girls. And then we're gonna make another horizontal line back, okay? 
I'm going to put a dot right here for his nose. He's got some teeth. We're going to do that. those teeth first. I just made them square. So a we'll line down, over, and up. A little rectangle. I'm going to give him a couple of them. I'm going to make them different sizes. I gave him three. And I did different sizes. Now we're going to make the bottom of my mouth. And it's going to start really on this tooth. Because the other part is behind his tooth. So I make a very little line going down and then a line over for the bottom of his mouth. Good job, boys and girls. Now you've done his head, his eyes, his ears, and his nose. So now we just have a little bit more to do, right? We can go ahead and put hit the top of him in, okay? Look at this nice curved line. Really, that's almost a half circle. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to curve up. You decide how big your guy's going to be. When he's big enough, bring that line down. So it's a nice curve like a rainbow. When he's long enough, you bring that line down. Okay, this is going to be the start of his back foot. So make sure that it's longer, right, than my nose right here because we want his feet to be way down here not way up here okay so let's put one foot in here right here we're going to turn this make a line Did you do that boys and girls so you decide how wide his foot's going to be and then give me another line up and then there's one foot. Now for his little toes, just an upside down U. Bunch of them. I put about four of them in it. So that's the foot on this side. We need to do the foot on the other side. Remember, it's not going to be as big. So it's going to start right about here with the line coming over and a line going up. So this is his foot on the other side. Probably won't have as many upside down U's because we don't see it all. Good job. Then for his tummy, I'm going to start right about here. Notice I started not at the top of the leg, but right here on the leg. Make a line over. Right to about under his eye or under the, um, the ear right here. Do you see where I stopped? That's important because you don't want to go too far. We need to put the rest of his feet in, right? So remember to pay attention where I stop and start my lines, okay? So this one's going to stop. No, it's not going to be any farther than my first eye. And now I get to put a foot in just like this. So right here, a line down, right? A vertical line, now a horizontal line over and another vertical line up, okay? And then here are my upside down U's for his toes. And now again, I'm gonna do a small one, right? Just like I did this one. So it's gonna start right here rather than at the bottom. Line over and a line up. And this line's gonna go ahead and meet the mouth. And then here I have some upside down. And there's our cute little hippo for the day. Now, boys and girls, I want you to think about where your hippo is. Mine is outside, and he's in a big puddle of water. So I'm going to draw my puddle around him. It's going to go all around him. It could just go to here, but I'm going to have him in a big puddle of water. I like that. And like I said, he's outside, so maybe you'd like to put a sun in yours. Make your son any way you want. Remember, it's your picture. I'm doing a little pattern on my son here on its rays, doing upside down V's. I have a long one and a short one. So made a little pattern. And then let's see what else could we put in here? Anything you want, you could add. I'm going to add a couple of birds in the sky. Do a little U and another U. 
Do that again. A little you and another you. See how that makes little birds like in the distance? Another one. Little you and another you. Very good, boys and girls. Now remember, always sign your name on the front because you are the artist. I'm going to sign my name down here. And I'm going to put the date. Okay. Sure was fun drawing with you today, boys and girls. I can't wait to see you again and draw with you one more time.